everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another game review and today I am reviewing Stranger Things 3 the game that has just been newly released and this is on the PlayStation 4 now fans of Stranger Things are finally getting a video game now um, Telltale was going to do a Stranger Things game and we all know what has happened to Telltale and if you don't know what's happened to Telltale it's basically folded now so we're not getting any more story based Telltale games so that's a bit of a shame I think Stranger Things would have worked well in that format um, so we've been looking forward really fans of Stranger Things for some kind of video game and this one has kind of crept up on us and this has been released um, alongside the brand new series Stranger Things series 3 on Netflix and this film is uh, loosely follows the plot of the show now if you if you haven't seen Stranger Things 3 um, and you want to watch that first but you're interested in playing this game I would suggest you watch the show first on Netflix um, only because this game and it is cute and it is fun however it does have some spoilers here in regards to the show so I wouldn't suggest playing the game before you've watched the show um, so, like I've said, this game does loosely follow the plot of the show. However, um, the charm of this game is it has a very retro style. Um, it's got a very old-fashioned look about it, as you can see there. Some might look at it and think, oh, this, this looks a bit old-fashioned and it looks a bit, you know, um, too retro and, you know, 16-bit graphics and all this kind of stuff. And that's kind of the point because of the... The setting that the show set in the 80s and things, they've wanted to give this game a real retro feel. And what is this game about? Well, like I say, it follows the plot of the season 3. Um, and you get to play as all your favourite characters from the Stranger Things series. Mike, Eleven, Justin, Hopper, Joyce, everybody. I think it's up, I think it's 9 or 11 characters. Um, I forget now. Um, and you essentially... It's, it's, I, I was about to say it's, it's like an open world game it isn't an open world game it's kind of you are, it, it's set in the town of Hawkins of course it is um, and you you know you go to a lot of familiar locations you know Mike's house Hopper's shack the mall um, all these different places the pool all in Hawkins um, and you have to complete different missions for different people as you complete these missions as you go through the game more and more people will join your party all the familiar faces and characters that you know and love from the show they will all end up joining the party um, and throughout the game you end up solving um, puzzles um, doing quests and when i say quest they're very very simplified quests we're talking about go to point a collect this bring it to point b um, craft this collect your reward it could be a little bit of cash uh, or whatever a very very simplistic game to play um, there are some minor puzzles going on here and when I say puzzles they're not ta very taxing think along the lines of some of the puzzles you might get in the Lego games it's that kind of level of puzzle that we're getting here not not designed to be overly complex um, and the look and feel of the game, like I say, it's got a very old fashioned feel about the game. Um, all the characters have their own little weapons. The, um, you know, Mike has got a baseball bat, Eleven's obviously got his powers, Justin's got his spray, um, Nancy's had to get some scissors. They've, they've all got their own particular weapons. Um, however, it does have a very basic uh, upgrade system here in the game. Um, it, it it delves itself into a lot of different mechanics and all of them are hugely simplified there's nothing complex about this game now it should be said that this game is it's got a fairly budget price in the UK it's 24.99 now in my honest opinion um, I think that price is a little bit too much for what you're getting for this game yes it's cute yes it's fun um, what you see, what you see here with this game, if this is the sort of game that interests you and you like these 16-bit style games and you like and you're a fan of Stranger Things, then I would probably recommend checking this game out. But I would definitely suggest that you wait, probably for a sale, because if I'm honest, it isn't worth 24.99 in the UK. Um, it, if you wait, 
couple of months for the next uh, for a decent sale on the PlayStation Store. This you probably get a good 34% off this game price, and then I would suggest picking it up um, and having a bit of fun with the game. Um, it's the, 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 there is combat in the game. It's very very simplified. Walk up to this place, click the X button, whack this, spray this, stab this, superpower this. Um, um, they do have like special moves as well. There's some characters that can hack into things as other characters can blow up boulders. They've all, if you like, got their own little special abilities. And you can use any of these characters at any time by um, going through the shoulder buttons and stuff so that you can, um, once you've unlocked them, you can use any character. So there's no puzzle that you can get to that you might you, you might realize, oh, I need, I need Justin to hack into this. Uh, well, you can do it. Um, you just move through the shoulder buttons and you find him, and then you bring him out, and then you can hack into it and stuff. It's, 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 it's very, very simplified gameplay. I can't stress that enough. What you, you, you are not getting a complex game here. You're getting a game that's stylized after Stranger Things, and it's styled in such a way to make you feel like you're playing an old retro game. If that looks sounds interesting to you, if this game looks interesting to you. Basically, the gameplay that you're seeing as I'm talking over this and giving this review is it, it's very, very early gameplay. It's the first three, three and a half hours of the game, so not to spoil an awful lot. Um, and it's all there's kind of what you're seeing here is what you're going to get throughout the game. You're just going to get different quests, you know, um, different things to do, um, increased level of difficulty in regards to some of the enemies that you're fighting as, as you face. Uh, bigger creatures and monsters and all this kind of stuff but it's still the mechanics don't really change throughout this game so there's not a huge amount else to say about this game um, you know I, I, I've had some fun playing it it's not an overly long game um, you, you, I wouldn't like to say how many hours of pleasure you're gonna get out of it um, they've They've tried to extend it by walking through the town. You will get given, you know, optional quests to do here and there. You might, you know, you'll walk past somewhere. It obviously feels very scripted, but you'll walk past somewhere and then someone will scream for help. So you'll go in this building, go and help them. So you get that these extra side quests that pop up all over the map. Um, but but the, the main fun here is just walking around Hawkins and looking at all these familiar locations and interacting with all your favourite characters from the show. It's it's a really well designed game and it's cute and it's fun but I, I couldn't help thinking while I was playing that I would have I would have preferred to have played um, a more mature game or a more uh, a better designed game with better graphics um, you know some I, I think they could have done more with this license and I'm hoping going forward that um, as this show matures and grows we're going to get better games going forward um, but if you if you if you're desperate for that um, Stranger Things kick and we've you know we've not had anything decent in regards to games in regards to Stranger Things, you know wait for a sale for this and you're gonna have some fun with it. You know it um, it, it does follow the plot of the season three particularly closely. So like I've said, I do suggest you watch the show first. Um, but uh, from my perspective, it's definitely worth waiting for a sale. I, I wouldn't say it's a terrible game. Um, it's it is what you see is what you get here with this game uh, an old-fashioned styled retro game that isn't overly complex to play there's nothing um, difficult about it um, and there's nothing that's going to tax you really so I'm gonna give it a fairly basic 6 out of 10 uh, it's a good attempt there is some fun to be had in the game but please please don't go into this game expecting to be you know, a highly polished, um, you know, super complex game based on the TV show because you ain't going to get it. You're getting a very, fairly simplified game that's fairly cute and fun to play, and it's got all your favourite characters in from the show. So, um, I hope you found this uh, review useful. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and of course, I will see you next time for another review on Screen Stars.